Karen Lund with Abbrief. I'm at NBAA Las Vegas 2025. And behind me is the Archer at Midnight, something you're going to see a lot more of in the skies. It's an EV tall, and Eric Lentel is going to tell us all about it. Hi, I'm Eric Lentel. I'm Chief Strategy and Legal Officer at Archer Aviation. I'm here at NBAA 2025. Uh, we're here in front of Midnight. Uh, Midnight is an electric air taxi that's set to come to market here in the U.S. in the next couple of years. Uh, it's fully electric, uh, vertical takeoff and landing, as well as conventional. Um, it's got, right, uh, you'll see in the front there, six lifters and uh, six tilters. Uh, the front rotate up in order to provide takeoff and landing, and the back uh, do as well. Yeah, I mean, one of the great things about uh, going electric is you get redundancy. Um, and so this aircraft has been modeled around uh, allowing us to create redundancy that gives us levels of safety that you wouldn't see normally at, uh, at this size of aircraft. Uh, you'll see diametrically opposed motors that allow for failure modes uh, that will switch over in case of uh, engine out type scenario. We've demonstrated the ability to uh, continue uh, normal operation in those scenarios, uh, in real world flight scenarios already. Uh, but we're flight testing this aircraft uh, almost every single day uh, at our flight test facility in Salinas, California, uh, and progressing fast through the, the full flight envelope regime uh, and bringing more and more online uh, as we move forward. Yeah, I mean, so one of the things that we try to do at Archer is really blend the traditional design of an aircraft uh, with right traditional uh, car design. And so we want to bring forward a design that uh, evokes the sense of uh, comfort uh, and safety uh, to aviation that hasn't been seen since the golden age. Uh, so a lot of the things you'll see on the plane uh, are really focused on that, which is right delivering the performance characteristics that we want out of the aircraft, but also delivering uh, the right uh, aircraft that people want to be uh, carried in, right? Want to fly on a daily basis, bringing back that desire uh, to be a part of aviation uh, that existed back in the golden age. And so the V-tail is one of those features uh, that we thought was really critical uh, from both a uh, flight dynamics perspective, but also from a uh, look and feel perspective of the aircraft. You'll see that in the size and breadth of the wings uh, and how they support uh, the overall feel of the aircraft. So also in the landing gear, you'll see the uh, size of the landing gear is intentional uh, as it gives this sense of safety. Um, so all of that was intentional from a design perspective. Uh, we did a number of things that you might not always do from a performance uh, standpoint, but we felt were critical uh, from a product acceptance standpoint as we bring it to market with consumers. Yeah, so this uh, aircraft is really targeted at the urban air mobility uh, use case, flying taxis. Uh, so think 10 to 30 mile flights on a rapid back-to-back -back basis uh, that allows us to carry four passengers uh, plus a pilot. Um, it will be able to go up to 100 miles uh, and uh, travel at speeds around 150 miles per hour. But really the focus is on those uh, shorter missions, rapid back-to-back -back, uh, flying passengers in and around cities where there is uh, an intense amount of traffic today. Um, and we can do those aircraft, we can do those uh, flights in 10 to 12 minutes versus an hour to an hour and a half in traffic. So think New York City, LA, Miami, the Bay Area as the initial markets where you'll start to see these aircraft being utilized. Yeah, so right, the uh, design of this aircraft is piloted plus uh, four passengers, uh, but they utilize really advanced flight control uh, software, and so a flight control system. And so really, it's much different than flying a helicopter. It's much closer to uh, a video game feel. Um, and so uh, it's got super advanced flight controls that are a stair step towards autonomy. 
Uh, we think autonomy comes into the picture here for these type of aircraft uh, as you get into the mid 2030s. Uh, but initially, it's really focused on piloted operations, making these aircraft a lot easier to fly uh, than traditional helicopters, uh, and using advanced flight control software uh, to do that. So it's all fly by wire. And so when you look at these aircraft vis-a-vis -vis helicopters or more uh, traditional aircraft of a similar size, the really big advancements are in the flight controls, fly-by-wire, uh, the change in, right, uh, from internal combustion engine over to electric. Uh, and so those are really, when you think about the key unlocks to allowing for this category to take hold, uh, and come to market as we work through the FAA type certification process, that's where the focus is for the FAA to understand those things that are different from a traditional small aircraft. So it's vertical takeoff and landing, uh, electric propulsion, as well as the flight control systems. That's the uh, billion dollar question, right? Uh, we're getting close. I mean, I think you'll start to see these uh, being utilized in the US uh, next year as part of the EIPP program that was recently announced as part of the executive order. Uh, so you'll see these flight testing uh, all over the country today. We were just talking to Beta. Uh, Joe B and us uh, it flew in the Salinas Air Show or the California International Air Show in Salinas uh, two weeks ago, uh, both of our aircraft. You're going to see a lot more of that as we go into 26. Yeah, Sweet Spot and Price is really focused on how do we get this down to a price that makes sense for the masses. So think, right, uh, price of an Uber Black. Um, but uh, we all see what those prices have gone. I mean, I was in uh, New York recently and it cost me almost the same price as a Blade uh, to take a taxi from Newark uh, into the city. Um, and so, look, in the early years, we're going to have to figure out where the right price points are, but over time, it's how do we make this available to the masses. Yeah, uh, so if you want to learn more about the aircraft, uh, you can check out our website, uh, archer.com, or you can uh, follow us on social, uh, across LinkedIn, Instagram, X, all of those platforms are a great way to continue to follow the Archer journey.